Good morning, champions. Chris here. Happy hump day. Wednesday again. Back down the park this week. To the truth, I um, actually forgot I was going to go to the beach again this morning. A bit better coverage up there. So see how we go with the live viewers here with the network coverage this morning. Anyway, a few things I wanted to talk to you about, but I wanted to maybe challenge you a little bit as well to see, maybe investigate what you might be afraid of. Um, so the things I'm going to talk to you about. Oh, day, Maz. Nice to see you jumped on. Don't know if you can hear me or not or see me or if I might be dropping out or freezing or anything. I know the network coverage here is not so great, but give us a thumbs up if you can hear us loud and clear. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about a body composition scan. That might be what you're afraid of. Uh, super session wrap, a true grit coming up, and another event on the horizon is the Gold Coast Marathon and then a little bit of an update on the Ninja Trailer. Oh, looks like Robin's just jumped on as well. Look at that. So it might, might be getting more traction than I thought down here with the network coverage the way it is. Anyway, what are you afraid of? So I put a post in my um, social Facebook group this morning, which is a closed group for members and past members, um, just reflecting about the body composition scan. There might be three reasons why you might not have that done. One, it might not be something that's relevant to you. You might measure your success on how fast you can run or how many push-ups you can do or something like that. So your body composition measures your body fat percentage, muscle mass, bone mass, and all those sorts of stuff. So a lot more that you can tell from the scales. Second reason why you might not want to have that done is that you might be afraid of what the results might be and you might feel like any progress or achievement is unattainable. And the third reason might be that you're perfectly happy with where your body composition is and, and it's totally not relevant to you. Anyway, if it's number two and that's what you're afraid of, or, or and then the other thing I guess is when you're assessing whether it's one, two or three, is um, are you being honest with yourself um, and are you afraid of knowing uh, or really assessing where your health might be based on the numbers that come out of this um, machine? And again, it's not just about your weight. In fact, that's probably the least important measurement there. Oh, thanks for that, Robin. There's a little bit of a love heart popped up there. <laughs> Don't tell Michelle, hey. <laughs> um, alrighty, moving right along. So, so yeah, so maybe, um, yeah, the question I sort of pose is what might you be afraid of? And you can uh, maybe apply that to anything in your life. Are you afraid of sort of facing up to the reality of the things that might scare you? And um, those are often things that can limit your growth. So you break through that little fear barrier and um, that's where the growth occurs, getting out of your comfort zone, so they speak. Anyway, so leading right into the body composition scan, that's coming up on Saturday, so a few of those spots are filled up. Um, if Saturday's not convenient for you, let me know, because I will do other times and places and that sort of thing. And um, still have some early spots available, so jump onto that. Uh, super session wrap. So last Friday, Australia Day, a uh, whole bunch of us got out. It was great to see a big crowd out. I just wanted to say a big cheerio and congratulations to everyone that got um, stuck into that because it was a huge session, 90 minutes worth of um, calorie burning fun. And of course, I know it was fun. You all said it was fun. Maybe you were not telling me the truth or not. Um, and if you want more details about any of these things, I should just um, remind you to click on the Google short link that I've posted in this uh, description here so you can see there's links and all that sort of stuff. Speaking of which, True Grit is coming up in April. However, the price rise, last price rise comes into effect at the end of this month. So that gives you sort of three or four weeks to really decide and commit. Again, follow the Google short link and all the links are there to um, our Facebook event that's got some more details on that and the True Grit uh, registration page. So a uh, great fun event, no matter where you're at fitness level wise, anyone can um, can pretty much have a crack at that. So that's a whole lot of fun. Love to see you come along and join us. And camping is available up there as well. And I'm happy to help out with a spare camp bed or a fridge or kitchen space, whatever you need. I've got the, be taking the camper up. So it's gonna be a fantastic weekend. Also on the Event Horizon Gold Coast Marathon, there's a few people talking about doing that. So the dates for that are the 30th of June and 1st of July, which is financial year turnover. So it's a great little winter break and a great little event up there. And so, yeah, there's a few people committed to jumping on that. So that's going to be a really good good event to jump along. Um, and cheers, Robin. So Robin says she loves the body composition thing. It's a great gauge of how you're progressing. Excellent. I'm glad that you're keen to still get onto it, Robin. That's, um, that's really, really good because it shows that you're interested in your progress and happy to address any, um, any areas that you might be able to grow and improve. So that's really, really good. And it is really insightful, the amount of information that, that it gives you. So I'm glad you enjoy it. Thanks, Robin. It'd be good to see you on Saturday too. Um, Robin's booked her spot already, everyone else who might be thinking about it so jump on board um, and then ninja trailer update so not a great deal of progress last week with the ninja trailer as far as things go I'm looking for a sandblaster at the moment to help us sandblast the chassis but still a couple of donations popped in so that was really great and again you can help us out with that one um, mainly by sharing the campaign around on your Facebook page and if you've shared it before it doesn't hurt to share it again um, Facebook has this wonderful way of hiding things from certain people or whatever it, it chooses what you might see so um, yeah I'd love it if you'd help me share that around 
So the best way to do that is if you click on the Google short link I've got in the description of this video and it'll take you to the web page and then there's a link there to the GoFundMe page. Go to there and there's a big blue link that says share on Facebook. Click on there and add a little comment and it's great if you add a personal comment such as hey this is being um, inspired by my PT cousin, brother, uncle, son, whatever. Um, so it gives it a bit of a personal touch and share it around. I'd love to see um, yeah, some community support behind that and thank you all to those that have shared it already. Anyway, that was a little bit of a long one this morning. I um, yeah, trust it all came through loud and clear. And if it didn't live, I'm sure it will on the replay. So um, yeah, hope you all have a fantastic week. Plenty on this weekend. There's a Brighton Jetty Classic, the sculptures, and a whole bunch of other stuff for coming up to the festival uh, months are all upon us. So enjoy that, and I'll catch you outdoors somewhere real soon. Have a great day. See ya.